What's up guys, Chris with UBT. Today on the bench, it's a big day, the Matrice 300 RTK. Let's jump right in. So it comes in a hard case. Uh, I'm gonna say it's a relatively typical DJI hard case, but this is actually pretty upgraded as compared to like the Matrice 200 or Matrice 210 V2. Uh, this is a true hard case, Pelican style, if you will. And it's got the latches that I'm obsessed with, just like your Mavic 2 Enterprise. It's a really good, strong seal. We will crack it open and there she is. It's very exciting. So I'm gonna start by pulling out the landing legs. Just like with the Matrice 200 series, you've got two legs and they're in the lid of the case. So we'll get those out and then I guess let's just jump right into the aircraft. We'll get this beauty out and on the actual bench. So there she is. It is not upside down. This is actually right side up, but it is folded. So we will put these guys on here. Just like so. like so. So there she is. We'll unfold that and get into that here in just a second. This is an unboxing, so I have to fight the urge to jump in and nerd out. Um, other little things, we've got a little power adapter here. Smart controller power adapter, because now is a better time than ever. It does come with the all new Smart Controller Enterprise. So you'll notice just by looking at this, it's got a box down here at the bottom. That's because it can accept a WB37 battery on the back. So you do get the smart controller. Has a little kickstand as a bonus. So that's awesome. We'll set that right there. User manuals, I always check. Nothing breakable in there, don't need that. WB37 for your smart controller enterprise. What else do we have here? USB A to USB C cable. And USB A to USB A. Full size USB is what I call USB A. We've got, uh, so this is pre launch. It looks like they gave us one of every type. This is Australian, it would appear. So I'm going to set these aside. Things could change, but I'm assuming they're not going to ship all of these different international power adapters with a US model M300. Little goodie bag here. We've got. So these are extra weatherproof battery cover, or not battery covers, port covers. You'll see here on the top, they've got some, we'll get into that in another video. So you've got extra covers, cause I'm sure we're gonna lose those. And some, I'm not even gonna be able to see these, some absolutely miniature screws, which are gonna be for those uh, port covers. Bag is empty. Got your typical DJI hex wrench for various screws and covers and port covers and things like that. And we've got extra gimbal dampers. Now it's hard to see in the video, we'll go over these later. Much, much larger gimbal dampers for, uh, this is the single gimbal bracket, but much larger gimbal dampers there. And then this is an extra joystick cover. So you remember on the sort of the consumer smart controller that comes with the Mavic 2 Enterprise, Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, uh, they didn't have any port or control stick covers. On here, they actually do have little rubber booties. Uh, extra reliability, you're gonna be out operating in the dirt, the rain, the snow, the grit. Those will cover and protect your control sticks. Uh, one cool thing that I uh, nerded out on uh, some of the material DJI gave us is these have different lanyard bracket uh, attachments on there. So previously you'd have to screw into the bottom of your tripod mount on here. You can actually screw in or not screw in, but you can clamp onto these two here and then one on the bottom, which will actually keep it kind of centered instead of just flopping over in an awkward direction. We've got that. What else do we have? So it's kind of hard to see, but they've got these zippered pouches. Like I said, this is pre-launch, so this might be different in your model or in your uh, case, but in here, we have extra propellers. Now, one cool thing, and I've already looked at these, but look at the size of those suckers. Way bigger than the Matrice 200 series. I have no information to back this up, but I'm wondering if this isn't supposed to be like an M600-ish. Very, very similar prop design here. Uh, the props actually have a, uh, it's hard to see, but they have a sheared, uh, not a sheared, but a sort of a solid mount instead of a screw mount. So there's no servicing that you're gonna be able to do there or gonna need to do, but you've got your two holes right there. So I just wanna point those out because the props are massive. So like I said, this is pre-launched. And some of the graphics that I saw, this was just kind of a mesh area, but in here it's actually zippered and those are empty. Another cool little compartment here, I have no idea. It's empty, so there we go. 
side. I'm gonna close that up. We'll be right back with you. We'll get this unfolded, opened up, ready to go, and we'll take a look at it.